and welcome to Preppy, where we revolutionize how you prepare for IELTS. Welcome to the Success Story series. Today, I have with me the Banshu. Please introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. Myself, proud Dr. Dipanshu Kumar Chitra, and I, I am a corporate working professional. I work for a pharmaceutical company located in Bangalore. Right now, operating from my native place, that is Faridabad due to work from home conditions and i am basically into the pharmacovigilance sector i got introduced to preppy uh, through one of my college seniors who actually found out one special free webinar that was being conducted by harissa related to writing and speaking so when i attended that i felt it quite convincing and the strategies that were announced in that webinar itself attracted me towards joining the course so i immediately grabbed up the opportunity because I thought that now, that, that now it's the right time that one can think of preparing for IELTS because uh, it's not about just that uh, you are good in English, that you have studied English for the whole academic life of yours. But it is the IELTS, what I have felt is a game of strategies. It, it's an exam to test how do you implement those minute and the critical things in, the, in those specific three hours so that uh, you can achieve what you desire for. All right, coming to the desired for part. So what were your desired scores and how much did you score? So ma'am, as I was appearing for the general training with the dream of being settled in Canada. So the as it is always said by everyone that one should obtain eight in listening and with the other three modules, there should be seven each. I also that's had the, the same target, reason. Yeah. yeah, that's the minimum target. Uh, because I had already experimented on the CRS calculator, what would be my scores if I just shuffle up the scores up plus minus 0.5 here and then down. So I thought that 8777 is the one that I should definitely achieve. And uh, this is something uh, that everyone also longs for, right? So I was also under the same impression, but uh, luckily the strategies and the efforts by the teachers and our, our fellow batchmates uh, helped a lot and I got more than the desired score also. And what were the scores? Please disclose the scores. Sure. So in the listening module, I got 8.5 and in the reading, it was 9, followed by 7 each in writing and speaking. That's a great, great score. Congratulations, first of all. And it's a perfect 9 in reading. So we'll start by discussing the strategies for reading first. How did you prepare? So um, since every one of us in our English language curriculum right from the, the beginning of our school days till here have seen unseen passages, right? Of course. So, but obviously not given true false was something which was a new a new type of question which was introduced the first time mm -hmm. so this thing was slightly different and was in the initial time used to create sometimes a false impressions that is it false is it not given applicable or not but the kind of strategy which was told at prep if that yes if if that specific sentence what the question is trying to say if it is the opposite what you find in the content, then obviously it's false. And if you don't find at all, then it is not given. So what I prepared my mind for is do not uh, read the question just in its one single uh, part, but rather read it as a whole, what the question is actually trying to say so that you, you would be able to analyze the real meaning, whether it is actually present or not, then you will be able to make a right judgment between false or not given. So wow. that was one other thing. And with respect to another challenge, which most of the students do feel is applying the correct heading to the right passage, right? Match so the headings. match the heading with the separate sections of each passage. Uh, again, for that, uh, the, the best thing is that even though you can get confused that there are eight to nine options provided to you, how would you go for it? The best technique is always that read the first just read the first paragraph and then try to get the central meaning out of it. Context. Read the first, yeah. Read the first sentence, read the last sentence, or maybe the first two or the last two. Mostly the meaning or the context would be hidden in those two. Mostly, but not always. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that thing will, will give you the central idea. 
so mm-hmm. that will get registered in your mind and after that it is just the point of elimination which you have to do from the choices available mm-hmm. so that thing worked for me and i must say that when i was attempting my my reading test the last three questions uh, were somewhat critical i must say because they were not direct uh, mm-hmm. they were actually you know it was related to procrastination and you're uh, talking about your exam the test yes yeah okay. so actually when i faced it so it, so it was about the procrastination and the question involved what kind of activities people do procrastinate in so i was a, i was able to find the first two like uh, after going through the passage two three times but the third part or, or, or the third activity i i was like struggling a lot and there were only four minutes left i guess so <laughs> then what i did is i just uh, started to re- read the very first line and then the writer himself who told that i also procrastinate so from there i got the hint that okay writing is also one activity in which oh. in which people got uh, procrastinated to so i took that and luckily since if you and it's a perfect answer, score so yeah. to everyone who is uh, not able to complete the practice test in time the panchu just mentioned that he had just 4 minutes left when he had to complete three four questions or more than that i guess so there was just that's what you said right yeah it, so so it was a set of three questions okay mm-hmm. and uh, means you actually have to give three answers for that question so means like 30 yeah, still, uh, more or less the same thing so there yeah. were three questions so last three questions were probably left and he was left with just four five minutes and he could still manage to score a perfect nine which basically means that you don't have to lose your calm you just have to stay focused and even if it's the last one minute and if you're left with one question do not leave it unattempted that's something that i keep telling each and every one that you should not leave anything unattempted just uh you know first and foremost you have to find the answer if you're not able to do that whatever is the closest possible answer that you can think of or just take a calculated guess and write it because there are chances that your answer will end up being correct and there's no negative marking so you don't have to fear that at all okay perfect the panchu thank you so much for telling us the specific strategies for two types of questions now i want you to tell us about listening how much did you practice how did you practice or uh, uh, you know what were the strategies per se that you utilized so sure. um, i actually personally felt that listening was somewhat comfortable um, in comparison to to writing and speaking because uh, that involves more of how much concentrated you are uh, mm-hmm. when you are actually hearing the audio piece cool. so um within listening sometimes the questions which do pose challenges are the mcq ones mm-hmm. so, why because there is a lot of paraphrasing involved in it in the options which are which are given with the question so uh with those specific questions one has to work on highlighting the main keywords in in the question mm-hmm. because there are sometimes you know those kind of specific words which can alter the meaning of question completely you may hear something that okay this part of uh, this part of the option was also there in the audio so i will mark this but yeah. but if the question says what does these two people mainly agree to so mainly is the right thing which is to be critically identified so after having uh, learned the strategy within the prepif class uh, from lesansi ma'am and then <clears throat> implementing it in, into the practice tests which were used to be given as the homeworks from the various cambridge book tests and i must say that all in all i would have practiced around 10 to 12 listening tests only not more than that because i personally feel that if the strategies are engrossed in your brain then it does not matter if it is the 10 exercises you practice or 100 it Perfect. will still say the same yes so basically instead of practicing a lot practice lesser but keep changing your strategies till the time you get your desired score so if you are scoring let's say around 38 or 39 in four to five tests consecutively it basically means that you are already 
have attained that level and you're already good with these strategies you don't have to worry about it then you can move on to the next module instead of wasting your time in the same listening test or practicing the same listening test again and again when i say same listening test i don't mean the same test yeah. per se but you know focusing same on the module. same module yeah so you don't have to do that okay moving on to writing the much dreaded one yes absolutely writing as it is uh, known by everyone that uh, people do get stuck at 6 6.5 and uh, just need that additional push or the additional advice i must say that because writing is something that you cannot check your answers at the back of the book and write okay that that i am correct there is no answer key for it there is no okay. answer key so <clears throat> it is something that which needs feedback on so my so what i i personally intended for is that once i finish the writing classes with with the prateep then i will start the assignments which are uploaded on the google classroom so that's a very good platform to use for and uh, i also did the same and then my first essay was checked then i got some feedback then i implemented those things in in, in the next ones and i even still still remember that one day before the test i i had written two essays and uh, it was checked by sanjita ma'am itself <laughs> and uh, it, it i think it was around 9:30 something when we had yeah, the yeah i, I called I, you up <laughs> yeah and then ma'am told about that you can use about the cohesive devices more and you can just present your central idea in these these ways or you can take a neutral point if you are not getting enough ideas to stay on yes. one particular stance so these all the things actually um, just got in a printed in my main in my mind so deeply that when i went into the test i was actually in in the main dilemma should i take agree stand or the disagree stand let us go with ma'am's approach take take a neutral one so i attempted that and it worked for me so i am really happy about it perfect perfect that that's great yeah i do remember having a word with you and uh, uh yeah i guess that dose is needed before the test a motivational uh, dose and uh, uh rest i as i always say it's the practice it's the effort it's the uh, dedication that the student puts in that is what is more important and even more important than the strategies a lot of students listen to the strategies understand it but fail to implement it so the major major uh, idea behind sharing the strategies is not just understanding it but also implementing it during the test and that can only be done if you're doing it intentionally that's what you mentioned that it was ingrained in your mind that i have to do it and you ended up doing it so that's really really important good job and uh, this is a question a lot of students ask so i'm asking on their behalf how many writings did you practice um total number of essays were 5 estimate okay 5 and the number of letters were i guess 5 or 6 yeah five or six so everybody out there five six essays five six letters are more than sufficient okay even if you are hesitant you can extend it you can double the amount you can make it 10 10 each but you don't have to write 50 essays or 50 letters to perfect yourself you can perfect yourself after each and every writing so try to write uh, i mean try to write submit get the feedback and implement what the feedback is telling you do not make the same mistakes again when you're writing the second set of writing so please remember this you do not have to invest a lot of time in practicing alone most of your time should be spent on understanding the feedback and not making the same mistakes again so thank you so much for that moving on to the last bit speaking so for speaking uh, i would first of all like to mention about myself that uh, i am a known case of mild stammering so it was always a fear in my mind that uh, whether i would be able to perform well in the exam or not so as soon as i joined the prep classes during the orientation session itself i was told that if you present a valid medical certificate to the examiner then that particular examiner would consider you on those specific points like i guess fluency might be the one which mm -hmm. the examiner would uh, not be strict enough mm -hmm. so i i like did the same thing and when i went to the test center i just i just i just actually showed my 
medical certificate to them and after that uh, i was told that yes examiner has been informed and you can just perform yourself whatever way you want to do it <laughs> so that was a big relief so i went into the examination center with a clear head coming over to the practices practice sessions i must say that mock tests helped a lot there are six mock tests which are actually conducted in the whole prep eve curriculum so mm-hmm. with every mock test i must thankfully address miss pavandi pher who actually uh, guided along the fact right after the test was finished she used to spend time and then say okay, okay you you could have said this in this manner or you could have concised your content in this manner so that talk more about the general things in the later when talking about the cue cards mm-hmm. because mostly cue cards involved the last cue which says that what does this make you feel now or how do you feel about it so this somewhat re- this somewhat relates to what is your general perception now as a result of what you have faced that time mm-hmm. so um she helped so so she helped with that how to work on it and additionally i must thank all of the prep eve batch mates who were there with me we actually created one whatsapp group uh, for the speaking so daily basis around 1 to 2 hours we used to spend together that one person used to speak on a cue card and then the other five used to provide the feedback that okay this thing could have been said this way or your grammar was lacking here and here so collect so that's team work yeah so collectively team work actually helped a lot and i must say that i could have done slightly better but still i am happy and content with what i've got so and you're getting sufficient uh, score for your crs on top of it i guess this was your very first attempt right yes ma'am um, actually spending again and again on ielts is something which like the mid, like the middle class people do consider a lot because it's an exam of 14700 rupees so everyone uh, tries to give their best at the very first attempt so that uh, they may not have to face this situation again not just in terms of money but again one has to go to the same yeah, preparation yeah, phase and be in the same mindset right uh, that uh, okay i have to spend uh, these many hours and uh, what mistakes did i do last time i should correct it again and again so i personally believe that do it right the first time uh, <laughs> even if you are not able to but still but try to do it yeah give give your best and yeah. uh, that that's wonderful now let me know whether it was computer delivered or paper based uh yes uh, first of all uh i have been comfortable with both pen and paper for my whole life but for the last 3 and a half years since i am a since i am a corporate professional so working on a computer ha- has become a daily habit so i thought okay because i have not touched pen and paper for a long while it might be disadvantages for me uh, firstly because uh, the speed won't be that much secondly uh, <clears throat> that in the writing section we do have to count the words right and with the with the computer delivered test that specific worry is actually eliminated because you have the counter running in front of you so i thought okay let's give that a shot plus with the with the reading and the listening sections one can one can definitely think of uh, using the copy paste option so that is one added advantage which can save you enough time so all in all i personally found computer delivered suited for me there might be some people here on who are actually watching this who, who might not agree with me and that, may that's feel that preference. so that's, that's, that's the right. own choice so yeah. i i personally would like to say that whatever you are comfortable with whatever uh, you have your comfort zone and your preferable space use that option and uh, whether it's computer or, or paper it's totally fine test remains the same absolutely mindset yeah. and the strategies should always be a- applied <laughs> absolutely correct so thank you so much for such insightful details about the test and the strategies now before we close the interview is there anything that you would like to add sure um i was uh, just like as soon as my results were announced so people started pinging me and uh, there was one one uh, peculiar question that how many hours did you practice mm-hmm. uh, so i had one answer to that that uh, it is not the amount of hours that you devote rather the 
rather the quality time that you devote to it even if you are working on a specific exercise for let's say half an hour and if you are implementing the right strategies which have been taught to you and you are able to think logically what the question needs from you rather than sitting for 5 hours continuously and not getting a thing into your brain it will be worthless true. so so true hard work and the devotion in the limited time also if you devote i i am a corporate professional i i used to work for a service provider before and, and now for a core client so timing was a big constraint with me so but i still uh, just attended the classes used to practice here and there some exercises on the weekends or maybe like you know, b- before concluding my m- my work for the day and just that one hour window which i used to get uh, prior to the start of class i used to just complete the homework okay. so but i used to do it with whatever uh, understanding that i i have received in the true sense not okay. in terms of just opening the book and then uh, okay getting frustrated with myself that okay i am able to solve just 30 questions what i will do in the real exam no that yeah, do not, not judge yourself too soon and yeah. especially when you're just starting with your preparation you're not in that mindset and most of our students are working professionals and they have completed their studies like 5 10 or 15 years ago so there's a gap right so to yeah. come back to that mindset where and you have to practice you have to read a lot of us have also lost the habit of reading because we are mostly consuming audio or video content we are not really reading content these days so keeping that that in mind uh, obviously it will take some time maybe a week or 10 days for your mind to get adjusted to the change that okay all of a sudden this person has started reading and they're not typing anymore they're writing because a lot of us have also lost that habit of writing because of of, of course your work or maybe using laptops more often than notebooks and pen so keeping that in mind don't judge yourself too soon and don't be harsh on yourself give yourself time and uh, take it slow give yourself at least a week and uh, in worst case scenarios 10 days and even if after that it's not working out then you can talk to your trainer you can uh, you know consult them ask them about uh, you know this issue and they will be helping you out so that's the right strategy that you need to be following Okay thank you so much the panchu that was really a wonderful interview heartiest congratulations for the wonderful result and if you need any help from us you can let us know thanks a lot ma'am and uh, just an advice to all the all the people out there who are actually currently involved with the prateep just try not to think of it like a like a competitive exam okay it's not a it's not a cat or mat or the je <laughs> entrance okay that uh, of course it, it will affect you in some way it is just the test of the skills which you get which you actually learn yourself in those in those in the 30 days of curriculum with the with the prep so i can say that all of you are in safe hands and <laughs> if you just work in the right manner you can definitely achieve what you wish for true true actually a lot of students think it's competitive and also that there are limited seats and the other students are probably your competitors that's not the case here if you cross that qualifying level if it's 8777 or 6.5 for the academic students whatever it is above that level you're all equal that's qualifying in nature it, you don't have to top it it's not an all india examination or something of that sort wherein you'll yeah. get all india rank blah 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 and then you'll get into some college of course in case of colleges if you have a higher score you have better preference but then that does not mean if there are three students who have the same score your you know uh, i mean your preference would change that will not happen with ielts per se so that is a different story when it comes to crs scores and stuff like that So yes, uh, teamwork, and I'm really happy that the entire batch, uh, you know, created the speaking uh, group, and you were talking to each other, understanding from each other's mistakes. So that that sort of a teamwork is really needed, and uh, that will definitely help you out in the long run. So yeah, thank you so very much, the Panchu, and I'm so sorry for taking so much of time. Uh, bye bye. Take care. Have a nice day, and enjoy yourself. Thanks a lot, Mumi. Bye bye. It was really a pleasure. Thank <laughs> you.